Rebel Canners, teaching all kinds of food preservation, especially the old ways. Welcome back, Rebel Canners. I'm in the kitchen again. This is a clean jar, but the lid has sealed down on it. And I'm going to show you how I take my jars off so I can save the lid. I know a lot of people use a device like this. This device is called a search key, and you just take it and you pry up, but quite often it will leave little hooks or crimps on your lid um, if you're not careful. And so I have found that using the ring of the jar works really well for me. So you take the ring, you slide it around to the narrowest point between the lip and uh, thread, I should say, and the jar, and then you just twist and pop it right off of there. And you should hear a pop when you do it. So once you find that point, you just go ahead and run it under there, twist up, and your lid will pop right off, and it should be just as if you had never used it. It's amazing. That's what my mother taught me, and this is how I always take them off. And it just seems to really, really work well, and you don't have any issues with crimping. And then my mom also taught me to use the back flat part of the spoon. And that seems to work really, really well. If you don't have a ring handy, just use a spoon and do the same thing. Slide it around there to the narrowest part and then twist and it pops right up. And I've never had to worry about crimping then either with the lid. And there you have it. Just put it in there, the flat side up, and twist, and it pops right off. Easy peasy. Don't forget to hit the like button. Be sure you're still subscribed, because YouTube has been kind of funny about that. And make sure you've rung the notification bell.